Do I need it? Am I under control? Can I beat it? Wake up! If it swallowed me whole, would I see it? I can make you feel alive. Hey guys, it's Miss Dahlia, and today with me I have Christina, hey. the best aunt in the whole entire universe. So, yeah. Um, and today we'll be getting into our mini series called Connecting with Your Culture. Today, specifically, um, talking about Africa and how their cultures use different percussion instruments, mainly the drums. Um, we'll be talking about the cajon and the, uh, the djembe, the djembe, right. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your post notifications on. Um, and let's get into the video. Let's put a transition there. Um, let's go. So Marley, tell me what you have learned about the djembe. So basically, the djembe is a rope turned, skin covered globet drum played with a bare hand, originally from West Africa. Um, the djembe can also produce a wide variety of sounds, making it a most versatile drum. So, its origins um, basically, the djembe was invented around the 12th century by the Mandaic tribe in what is now Mali, in West Africa. Oh no. Wait. So the djembe has a very unique and distinctive design, which is fundamental to its versatile sound. The, in quotations, lobat-shaped body of the drum is carved and hollowed on, out of a single piece of tree trunk. So where do they play the djembe? Djembe drum is said to have been invented in the 12th century by the Mandaic tribe in what is now Mali in West Africa. It's been played by West Africans for many, many generations, forming an important part of ritualistic life in Mali. Marty, I know you've been researching the cajon. Tell me what you've learned. So, <clears throat> oh no. so basically, the cajon is not exactly from Africa. Basically, the cajon is an Afro-Peruvian. It's an Afro-Peruvian instrument, and the cajon is the Spanish word for box. Um, so, when slaves were taken to Peru, their African drums were banned. So, they made the cajon. Um, so, it is made by Africans, not from Africa. The Africans are from Africa, but they were brought to Peru. So, it is a Afro-Peruvian instrument. <laughs> Hey guys, so sadly, the end of this section of the video has come, but don't forget to stick around where we learn a few more things on the drum set, but do not forget to like and subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and I, not Christina, but I will see you in the next part of the video, so let's get into it, and everybody say bye to Christina. Bye, Christina! Bye, guys. And I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys. So we are in the second part of the video. So today on the drum kit, we are going to be learning 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And otherwise, you would know as eighth notes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So basically, all we're going to do is add an extra note. What we did yesterday was 1, 2, 3, 
what we're going to do today is one and two and three and four and. So basically you have a hi-hat on all of these. So we did yesterday one, two, three, four. Today, one and two and three and four and. What that is, is we hit with our right foot on the kick, one, and our right hand on this hi-hat, one, one, and. Then with our left hand on the snare and our right hand on the hi-hat, we go two. Put those together, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. As I said yesterday, you can add a little bit of spice, spice it up a little, some salt and pepper, some sugar, honey, whatever you want to do, and how to crash or arrive at the end. So we would have one and two and three to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe turn your post notifications on and Miss Dahlia is out